The huge outbreak of tornadoes in late April 2011 was so bad that it earned a special name, Super Outbreak of 2011. Only once before, April 1974, did an outbreak get named a Super Outbreak. It was part of a four-day siege of tornadoes that began on the 25th in Oklahoma and Texas, rolled across the Gulf Coast states and up into the mid-Atlantic by the 28th. All told, more than 300 tornadoes there in those red pass. The worst by far on the 27th. A number of EF5 tornadoes in red and EF4 in yellow hit the states of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee on that day. One of those, a high-end EF4, rolled across Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and then up into Birmingham. Here it leveled parts of an apartment buildings, a number of apartment buildings in that complex there. There were also four tornadoes rated EF5 in Mississippi and Alabama in locations you see there. One of those, or several of those, so strong that they tore up roadways. Even one of them pulled sod out of a field and made the field look like it had been plowed. But no, it had been the tornado. So how do you get such a super outbreak? Well, in this case, a huge jet stream, very fast, 170 mile per hour, came from the west-northwest and then suddenly turned northward. Those northward turns are where the severe weather outbreaks typically occur. Very fast winds aloft at 5,000 feet, even up to 70 mile per hour from the southwest, and then strong from the south at the surface. All that turning and increasing of the winds with height allows the atmosphere to roll, and the thunderstorms convert that to a supercell rotating thunderstorm motion that then spawns tornadoes. It was combined with that record shear that I just mentioned with extremely warm, unstable air, about as unstable as it ever gets, and you get those top two type of parameters making for a top super outbreak. All told, it was about a 51-hour period here from the 26th to the 28th where there were nearly continuous tornadoes. You compare those with previous outbreaks, and it was number one in some measures, hitting 21 states. That's number one. 2,933 miles of path, that's number one. And about $10 billion of damage, that also is number one. And it ranks in the top three in others. 29 killer tornadoes ranks number two. Nearly 3,000 injuries ranks three. And... 15 violent EF4 or F, EF5 tornadoes, that ranks number three, with the super outbreak of 74 and Palm Sunday 1965 being those other leading candidates. That late April 2011 outbreak was part of a number of severe weather and tornado outbreaks in the month that gave a total of 758 tornadoes. That's crushed the record for any other month, including April, and we hope we never see anything like that again.